The following footage is of the aftermath of World War II and the filming activities undertaken by American camera teams in Germany, particularly Berlin. George Stevens and filming in Berlin. George Stevens, a prominent American film director and cinematographer, played a crucial role in documenting the events in post-war Germany. However, as mentioned, he did not obtain permission to film the Potsdam Conference. A meeting of the Allied leaders, Truman, Stalin and Churchill, held in July 1945 to discuss the post-war reconstruction of Europe. George Stevens, a highly respected American film director and cinematographer, indeed played a crucial role in documenting significant events during and after World War II. His contributions to recording historical moments provide a unique perspective on the war's aftermath. Here is more information about George Stevens and his involvement in post-war Germany. Before World War II, George Stevens had a successful career as a Hollywood director. Known for his work on films such as Gunga Din in 1939 and The Philadelphia Story in 1940. Stevens interrupted his filmmaking career to serve in the U.S. Army Signal Corps during World War II. He held the rank of major and was tasked with documenting the war effort. Stevens and his film unit played a crucial role in documenting key military events, including the D-Day landings in Normandy on June 6, 1944, and the liberation of the Dachau concentration camp. After the defeat of Nazi Germany, Stevens continued to document the aftermath of the war. His camera teams followed U.S. troops as they advanced through Germany, capturing unique footage in 16mm color film. The Potsdam Conference, held from July 17th to August 2nd, 1945, was a crucial meeting where Allied leaders, including President Harry Truman, Soviet Premier Joseph Stalin, and British Prime Minister Winston Churchill, discussed the post-war reconstruction of Europe and the administration of Germany. Despite Stevens' significant role in wartime documentation, he was denied permission to film the Potsdam Conference. The reasons for the denial remain unclear, but issues of security sensitivity of the discussions and diplomatic concerns likely played a role. Stevens' post-war contributions went beyond documenting military events. He directed the documentary Nazi Concentration Camps in 1945, which presented horrifying footage of concentration camps and was used as evidence during the Nuremberg Trials. After the war, Stevens returned to Hollywood and resumed his filmmaking career. He went on to direct acclaimed films such as A Place in the Sun, Shane and Giant. George Stevens' wartime and post-war contributions, particularly his commitment to documenting the realities of war and the aftermath, left an indelible mark. His work contributed to the historical record and served as a testament to the importance of film as a medium for capturing and conveying historical events, filming the conquest of Nazi Germany, the mention of camera teams following US troops as they conquered Nazi Germany from the West in March 1945, highlights the efforts to document the end of the war and the occupation of Germany. The decision to shoot in 16mm color film was relatively uncommon during that time. Most war footage from that era is in black and white, making the color footage particularly unique and valuable. Destroyed cities and occupied country. The unique 16mm color footage captured by these camera teams provides a rare glimpse into the devastated cities of Germany and the impact of the war on its inhabitants. The footage captured by George Stevens' camera teams in post-war Germany would indeed provide a visual record of the profound impact of World War II on the country and its people. Here are more details on what such footage might have showcased. The camera teams would have documented the extensive destruction of German cities caused by Allied bombings. Cities like Berlin, Dresden, Hamburg, and Cologne were heavily targeted. 
resulting in widespread devastation to infrastructure, residential areas, and cultural landmarks. The footage includes scenes of civilian suffering, illustrating the human toll of the war, images of displaced families, wounded civilians, and the emotional trauma experienced by the German population would be part of this documentation. The camera teams might have documented the aftermath of Nazi atrocities, including the liberation of concentration and extermination camps. Footage of survivors, evidence of mass graves, and the horrific conditions within these camps would provide a visual record of the atrocities committed by the Nazi regime. The challenges faced by the occupied German population during the post-war period would likely be documented. This could include scenes of military occupation, the establishment of displaced persons camps, and efforts to provide humanitarian aid and rebuild communities. As the Allies work to stabilize and rebuild Germany, the footage may showcase efforts to restore essential services, reconstruct damaged infrastructure, and address the immediate needs of the population. This would be part of the broader narrative of post-war reconstruction. The camera teams may have documented the plight of displaced persons, refugees, and those who had lost their homes and families during the war. The footage could highlight efforts to provide shelter, food, and medical assistance to those in need. With Germany divided into occupation zones, the footage might capture scenes from each sector controlled by the Allied powers. This division would have significant implications for the post-war political landscape. The camera teams documented the process of demilitarization and denazification, including the dismantling of military infrastructure and the removal of Nazi symbols. This was a crucial aspect of the Allied efforts to prevent the resurgence of militarism and fascism in Germany. The footage include scenes of cultural and historical loss, showcasing the destruction of landmarks, artworks, and monuments. The impact of the war on Germany's rich cultural heritage would be a poignant aspect of the documentation. Depressing images of victims. The reference to depressing images of the victims of terror and the policy of extermination underscores the grim realities faced by the German population and the victims of Nazi atrocities. In summary, the activities of American camera teams in Germany at the end of World War II, their use of color film, and the footage they captured provide a unique historical record of the immediate post-war period, shedding light on the destruction, occupation, and the human cost of the conflict.